We have some amazing photos of Antarctic sea life, thanks to the new cameras on the gaps, Captain. Excellent, Dashi. And who knows what else we might find today? Monsters in the ocean! Swim for your lives! Monsters? Three of them at least! The one I saw was just a giant head with teeth! The one I saw was a giant squirmy sea serpent! The one I saw, I couldn't even see the whole thing! That's how huge it was! And where exactly did you spy these hideous creatures of the deep? Close by! Gotta keep moving! We don't want to run into those monsters again! <laughs> Monsters. Peso, Quasi, let's investigate. All right, everyone, keep your eyes peeled and make sure your gup cams are turned off. I just saw what appears to be a big-headed monster, exactly like the one described by the first dolphin. <gasps> I just saw the sea serpent monster the other dolphin saw. Ah, just me luck. I haven't seen hide enough fit of anything monstrous. But I do now. It's the big one, mateys, and she's coming right at me. Shiver me whiskers. Let's see what the photos from the gub cans can tell us. That's the monster I saw. Yes, and that's the one I saw. And that big whatever it is is the third monster. Hmm, I'm not so sure there were three monsters. Let me try something. <laughs> It's a crocodile. It's a saltwater crocodile. The world's largest crocodile. It's as big as a bus. And it's a long way from home. Saltwater crocodiles normally live in places like Australia. That's over a thousand miles away. Hmm. It's not unusual for saltwater crocodiles to travel far out to sea looking for food. But I've never heard of one spotted in the Antarctic Ocean. Oh no, he must be lost and freezing. Saltwater crocodiles are reptiles. They stay healthy by moving to different places when they need to warm up or cool down. If they get too hot, they move to a cooler place. And if they get too cold, they move to a warmer place. But here in the Antarctic, there's no place he can go to warm up. He won't be able to survive this extreme cold for long. Dashy, sound the octo alert. Octonauts to the launch bay. Octonauts, we have a saltwater crocodile who is lost and in danger from the icy cold water. Our mission is to find him and take him home. Quasi, peso, to the guts. Remember, Octonauts, this is a huge creature we're looking for. If it feels threatened or scared, it may attack us. Aye, and the way it nearly swatted me gut, that tail could crush us like a tin can. It would more likely chomp you with its massive jaws and teeth. Keep a sharp lookout, me hearties. That crop could be lurking anywhere. Below us, behind us, or above us. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> And he might be injured. Let's take a closer look. He's not moving. He doesn't seem to be breathing. I've got to find out what's wrong. We'll back you up, Peso. Shellington, stand by to assist. He's got a heartbeat, but very soft and slow. Shellington, any idea what's going on with him? Yes, Captain. When saltwater crocodiles get very cold, their bodies can slow down and go into a kind of sleep where they don't need to eat or breathe air for a long time. So, he'll be fine. <laughs> After he wakes up, he'll head home. The saltwater crocodile might not know his way home, Quasi, and he may not be able to wake up at all because of the extreme cold. We need to get him back to the octopod and warm him up. But he's too big to fit through the octahatch. I wasn't thinking of bringing him inside the octopod. 
Octonauts, prepare to warm up a saltwater crocodile. The croc's attached to the octopod cap. He's as snug as a bug. A really big bug. And this will tell us how he's doing. Good. Hey, sir. Stay with him. Everyone else, back to the ship. Dashing, raise the temperature of the octopod as hot as you can get it. Hot. And set a course for the saltwater crocodile's home in Australia. Captain's working. The crocodile's body temperature is warming up. He's not the only one. It's as hot as the Amazon jungle in here. He's breathing again. It means the crocodile is warming up. But now that he's breathed out, the croc is going to need to breathe in. And he breathes air, not water. Which means we need to get him up to the surface fast. Dashy, activate steering wheel. <laughs> patient doing, Peso? He seems fine. Let me get a bit closer. <laughs> he just tried to chomp me. Don't worry, Peso. Saltwater crocodiles slap their mouths open and shut when they get too hot. It helps them cool off. <laughs> oh, uh, he may start thrashing about as well. Now you tell me. If the croc is thrashing because it's too hot, then cooling him off should calm him down. Dashy, lower the octopod temperature, cold as you can get it. I'm on it, Captain. <laughs> the cooling plan is working, Captain. The croc is going back to sleep. Octonauts, it's time to enjoy some chilly indoor temperatures. <laughs> Thick warm, warm sunlight on a tropical pirate's cove. We just need to keep the octopod cold a bit longer. Once we reach warmer waters, we can return to normal temperature and let the croc wake up naturally. This is an ice way to travel, eh, Quasi? Australia, Captain. The croc's home is just a few miles ahead. Captain, the saltwater crocodile is moving a bit. I think he's waking up. Dashy, you can return the octopod temperature back to normal. We'll leave the octopod here and use the gups to tow the croc the rest of the way. All right, octonauts, let's bring this big fella home. Boy, what's all this? What do you think you're doing? Oh, uh, easy, we're friends. Here to help. Help? Then why am I tied up? Looks like you're trying to capture me. Nobody captures a salty. <laughs> Octonauts, abandon guts. You can tie me up, but come any closer and I'll chop you down. Please, let us explain how you got here. We found you in the Antarctic. You were lost. And freezing. And so we brought you back here to your home. Yeah, I do remember being lost. Big icebergs everywhere I turned. So cold I couldn't stay awake. Guess you really did help me out. We help all the creatures of the ocean. We're the Octonauts. Pleased to meet you. You can call me Salty. Well, Salty, you have a bruise on your snout. May I bandage it for you? Yeah, go on. And no chomping, please. No chomping. <laughs> there. Thanks for all your help, fellas. We all need a helping paw now and then, Salty. Even crocs and pirates. Whew. That sun sure is getting hot. <laughs> Sorry about that, Taya. <laughs> Didn't mean to scare you, but, uh, you know, I'm awful hungry all of a sudden. Uh, you should probably leave now, mates. You don't have to tell us twice. Goodbye. <laughs> I'm Captain Barnacles. 
Aye, matey. Come on, everyone join in. Right, let's go.